para trabajo. In cases like these, how should employees empower themselves when it comes to enforcing their employment rights? How can employers uphold the standards of their employees' working conditions? Where can employees go to report instances of violations of the labor code? Good evening. You are watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. And I'm Attorney Rod. May 1 is celebrated around the world as Labor Day, especially in the Philippines, because on this day in 1903, Filipinos held a rally in front of the Malacanang Palace demanding for workers' rights. In 1974, the Labor Code of the Philippines was enacted into law, governing employment practices and labor relations, such as the rules of hiring and terminating employees, the conditions of work, including work hours, overtime, benefits, and holiday pays, as well as the guidelines in the organization and membership in labor unions. Ang batas paggawa na tinutukoy natin ay yung Labor Code PD446 as amended na matagal na yung naisa batas sa pamamagitan ng presidential decree. No? At yan ngayon ang gumagabay uh, sa mundo ng paggawa dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, may mga specific provisions yan na which governs the working conditions, labor rights, and everything that has something to do with labor and employment matters altogether. Itong mga karapatang ito ng mga manggagawa, binabantayan niya ng Department of Labor and Employment at uh, may specific rules and regulations governing the exercise of those. However, there are some companies that do not meet the standards of the Labor Code of the Philippines, such as exceeding the recommended number of working hours or not entitling employees to benefits and holiday pays. Mandato ng Department of Labor and Employment na huwag mawala ang mga trabahong nandiyan na. Pinipreserve natin yung mga trabahong naririyan na at lumilikha pa tayo ng mga bagong trabaho na makakadagdag sa mga pangangailangan ng mga magagawa. Conciliation, mediation, function ng Department of Labor and Employment is very important to us. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Pinapagkasundo ka agad upang huwag matuloy ang pagwiwelga. Kapag nagwelga, magsasara ang kumpanya, maraming mawawala ng trabaho. In cases like these, how should employees empower themselves when it comes to enforcing their employment rights? How can employers uphold the standards of their employees' working conditions? Where can employees go to report instances of violations of the Labor Code? Good evening. You are watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. And I'm Attorney Rod Nepomuceno. Tonight, we will discuss your legal rights on working conditions. What you need to know as an employee on the proper working conditions according to the Labor Code and what you need to do as an employer to uphold these standards. Our guests for tonight are Representative Rene Magtubo of the Partido Mangagawa and Attorney Jose Sonny Matula, National President of the Federation of Free Workers. Good evening and thank you for being with us tonight. Yeah, good evening. Uh, yeah, good evening. Uh, so, Attorney uh, Sonny and uh, Congressman. Rene, well, the former, former congressman. <laughs> Rene, Rene. So, uh, well, of course, uh, as we all know, no, I mean, a lot of people are affected by the labor code because there are a lot of people obviously are either employers or employees. And uh, maraming, let's, let's face it, maraming normally mga disagreements or, yeah. or should, I, should we say mga conflicts na nangyayari. Or I think a lot of also no? unclear yeah. uh, notions about rights mm -hmm. of either mm -hmm. yung employers, what you should give your employees, or even mm -hmm. employees what they're entitled to. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, but, but the lab, since labor, labor law is very, I guess, wide no, in, ter in terms of scope, so we're going to focus more on, on working conditions, you know, yeah. uh, on specific mm -hmm. working conditions and uh, 
it's good we start off with uh, what is defined as yung normal working hours uh -huh. diba kasi uh, there are different types of employees and uh, we'll touch on those but siguro as we'll we'll, we'll uh, focus on yung typical employee uh, and how we define what is normal working hours in, in I guess, in a work day. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, so so uh, under the, the labor code, uh, the normal hours of work is uh, eight hours. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, not only uh, in accordance with the labor code, but it's also in accordance with ILO convention number one. Mm -hmm. Eight hours. That was uh, adopted in uh, the year 1919. That was the first convention, the mm -hmm. respect for the eight hour. Attorney uh, Sonny, when you say day. eight hours, does that mean that if you go beyond eight hours, you can refuse to stop working? Uh, yes, because the normal hours of work is eight hour. Uh, it should be, in normal times, it should be observed. But of course, there are some exceptions. Mm -hmm. uh, when can an employer require an employee to go overtime? So I guess we have to make this clear to our viewers out yeah. there. If your employer asks you to go overtime, is that mandatory that you have to say yes? Uh, it's not uh, mandatory and it's not compulsory except uh, those uh, circumstances under Article 89 mm -hmm. of, the, of the Labor Code. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, so Attorney are, Rene, uh, yeah. sorry, <laughs> Representative <laughs> Rene, ano yung mga instances when you can force your employee to render overtime work? Uh, una, hindi siya compulsory then uh, kung pumayag ang, uh, ang employee. mga, mga employees at uh, emer for emergency work or purpose of uh, maintaining yung kanilang uh, viability ng mm -hmm. negosyo. Tapos, uh, second, kung mayroon collective bargaining agreement, salimbawa, na stipulated doon sa agreement na mayroon silang overtime work for this period of time, mm -hmm. upon uh, consultation with the employees, pwede mm -hmm. mag-overtime. Pero it's mm -hmm. not mandatory for the mm -hmm. workers to render overtime. Mm -hmm. But may mga conditions din yan, no? uh, 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 Rene, no? like for example, di ba yung mga types of emergency or yeah, war yeah. Oh, or oh. let's say yung equipment, oh, uh, oh. yung equipment needs to be... Yeah. Mm -hmm. ano? Attorney uh, Sonny. Uh, uh, yung unang uh, pwedeng uh, compel, no? compulsory overtime na pwedeng maporsigi yung mga manggagawa. Yung una ay sa panahon ng gera mm -hmm. o panahon ng national o local emergency na dineklara ng kongreso o ng... Mm -hmm. Executive Department. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so employers can, oh, can oh, in a way, compare. Oh. But this oh. is something that's not clear, I think, to a lot of employees because some of them sometimes marry na silang plan na they'll go home for a, a daughter's birthday or a friend's birthday, oh, and then oh. the employer suddenly says, "Hindi po ay mag overtime mm -hmm. ka," and they think that this is mandatory agad or they might Required. it's a ground for them to get fired. Mm -hmm. But at least now. Oh. Thank you, Attorney oh. Sonny and <laughs> Representative Rene <laughs> for clarifying that it's not <laughs> mandatory. It's only under these Mga conditions. conditions. Yeah. Yeah. Or if there's an emergency, if uh, it's part of your collective bargaining agreement. Tapos kung may may perishable goods yata, uh, di ba? Uh, it is necessary mm. to prevent uh, mm. life or to prevent loss of life or to prevent destruction of property. Mm. So, okay. uh, so yun, so yun uh, pwedeng... Pwede ko yung mandatory. Oh, oh, lalo right. na yung panahon ng, sabi nga, emergency, panahon ng flood, panahon ng earthquake, mm -hmm. or mayroong volcanic eruption, yung ganyan. Yeah. Huh? But no. uh, what types of employees are covered by this eight-hour work period? Because we know that, uh, for me, uh, for instance, as an associate in a law firm. You uh, work 24 hours. Yes, but on call, I was on call Monday to Sunday, and then sometimes I start work at 8 a.m., but I would end up, my longest work our uh, period was starting at 8 a.m. on uh, Friday and ending at 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday. Tuloy-tuloy yun, ah. Uh, walang uwian, walang liguan. Mm. I was working the whole time. Uh, so, kung, who, uh, what types of employees ang yung, hindi po covered uh, ng 8 hour? Ang, yeah, hindi covered ng 8 hour. So, yung hindi covered yan, ang sabi ng labor code dyan, yung mga government uh, employee. Mm -hmm. uh, kasi okay. hindi sila covered ng... Uh, Labor Code of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, or yung mga nasa government-owned or controlled Corporation. corporation na may original charter. Mm -hmm. okay. na, tapos yung mga managerial employee. Right. Uh -huh. Managerial staff. Uh -huh. Yung mga managerial ba kasama yung mga supervisors? Yes. Supervisors. Uh, yung mga managerial uh, staff, ano? kasama dyan. Kasama yan. Uh -huh. ah, okay, okay. Uh, yung uh, kasama dyan, yung, uh, yung mga domestic worker. 
Mm. Oo, oh, kasi, kasi hindi ko pagkakita yung hours. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yung mga field uh, personnel. Ah, by domestic worker, you mean kasambahay? Kasambahay. Oh, kasambahay. kasambahay. Field worker. Mga field workers, like sales people, no? Sales, oh, sales, sales people. Mm. Na walang control yung uh, kanilang mga employer mm-hmm. sa kanilang trabaho kasi malayo sila o hindi sila namumonitor ng kanilang employer. Mm-hmm. Mga non- non-agricultural field workers, di ba? Oh, uh, ito, ito, yung mga sales oh. agents, for instance. No? Oh, oh. Tapos yung... Uh, Ay, yung mga Pacquiao. O oh, ah, mga, mga persons. By results. By results. Oh, by results. Oh, results. Yung mga uh, sa kanila. Yung mga ano, yung mga, uh, let's say, mga doctors sa ER, or let's say, yung mga, yun, mga lawyers. Uh, ako, as a oh. associate ako sa uh, law firm before, tulad ni Karen, I worked one time, one whole weekend na, no? pero wala oh. overtime pay yan. No? So, oh, yeah. Usually, ma-categorize ma- ma- na sila as a managerial, managerial officer, level. managerial staff mm-hmm. sila. Yeah, kasi, even uh, if you're just a first-year associate in a oh, law firm. because uh, independent judgment yung kinakailangan at mm-hmm. uh, sarili mong kusa. Hindi ka nang masyadong sinasupervise. So, Attorney Sonny, yeah. can you please clarify, what does it mean to be in a managerial position? Kasi akala na iba, uh, basta pag tinawag na manager, yun lang ang managerial position. Pagka, uh-huh. Kunwari, ang title nila, analyst or something mm-hmm. else, they'll say, hindi naman ako manager. Mm-hmm. Clarify what that means. Yung, yung unang that means. classification ng pagka manager is if you have the power to hire and to fire. So, isa yan sa at least mga kategorya ng mm-hmm. manager. Uh, okay. Or ikaw ay... We mentioned if, if you exercise independent oh, judgment. Independent judgment mm-hmm. at uh, lalong-lalo na directly involved ka sa mga pulisiya ng employer. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, man- oh. managerial. Yeah. No, managerial employee. Yeah. yeah. Now, oh. now, going back to my original question on the normal working hours, you said eight hours. Uh-huh. Uh, and again, there seems to be this uh, conception, or maybe misconception, that mm-hmm. dapat eight hours of continuous work yan. Kasama ba yan yung, yung lunch break na kumakain ako? Is that considered normal working hour na mm-hmm. I'm paid? Uh, so, if you count, ah, okay. kunwari, if you start eight, 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 nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. So, kailangan umuwi na by four. <laughs> so, or, or pagka magka-count na ng overtime, they can say, it's past 4 p.m., okay. then I should be entitled mm-hmm. to overtime. Okay. So, yung may, may batas tayo dyan eh. Kasi yung uh, dapat mayroong break sa trabaho na mm-hmm. isang oras. Mm. para sa pagkain. Mm. So, considered so, na uh, sabi parang part of... Sabi yeah. ay hindi yan uh, hour of work, hindi yan compensable. Ah, okay, okay. So, hindi yan included. Kasi hindi, included, uh, hindi yan at the disposal of the management. Kasi para sa'yo yan yung one hour na yan. Mm. Mm. Pero meron din instances, no? Kung, uh, kasi ako, practice ko sa collective bargaining. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, we have negotiated, halimbawa, kahit na eight hours kami itong tatrabaho, halimbawa, but we have negotiated with the management na lahat ng break times namin, even if aabot uh, ito isang oras for a period of 8 hours, sa dibawa, uh, 8 hours work, tatlong break times na abot ng isang oras, kahit sinasabi ng batas na um, hindi siya compensable. No? Eh, dahil na-negotiate mo sa collective bargain agreements, compensable siya. Uh, yun, yun so, ang, that's by negotiation. <laughs> by negotiation. So, kahit pumasok kami sa, sa may, may union, right? 7 to 3, limbawa, all the break times are compensable. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Even if bag, overtime kayo for the next 4 hours, limbawa, Thir- uh, three break times for 30 minutes as one hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Compensable doon mm-hmm. by negotiation. No? Pero sa bata, kaya guys, collective bargaining agreements kasi lagpas oh, sa bataas. Mas mataas yan, mas mataas. Uh, mm-hmm. so, and then, how much premium do you get for working overtime? Okay. Mm-hmm. 25% more. Uh, yung sa, yung is, uh, 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 maraming rules on overtime eh. Di ba yung mga overtime after the eight hours, uh, uh, overtime during regular holidays, uh, overtime uh, during special days. Uh, uh, maybe we can uh, take off on what Karen mentioned. Maybe we'll start off with 25% is for... 25% para dun sa after the eight hours. Yeah. Eight hours. Uh, uh, after the eight hours. Eight hours. Uh, uh, pero yun, sa collective bargaining agreements naman, pwede tumang pasyad. Yeah, mas mas uh, union na eh, 50%. Uh, 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 <laughs> kung overtime per uh, hour. Okay. Ayun, yun ang uh, maganda sa mga union eh. Magkapag-negotiate ka. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, pero sa panahon na sa minimum standard dun sa mga holiday or special uh, special days, mm-hmm. is, ay 30%. Plus 30%, plus 30% of, uh, of your regular hourly rate. Oh, plus, plus 30% pag reg, uh, if you're required to work on a regular holiday? Uh, regular holiday and... Oh, uh, or your rest day. Uh, or rest day. Kasi may permutation pa yan eh. Kung yung rest day mo siya, tapos regular holiday pa siya. Ah, okay. So, may, may, may kung uh, regular, <laughs> 50%, 50%, yun, 50%, 50%, uh, 50% yun. 50% yun. So, if you're so, getting, for example, for example, 100 pesos an hour, uh, you will get 150 pesos an hour? Yeah, oh, yun, 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 yung competition mm. no, kung, kung uh, rest day mo at holiday pa. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Siguro mo gandang tingnan, yung concept of overtime pay. Diba? Yung concept niya kasi is that uh, a worker is exchanging his time mm-hmm. for work. His free time. Oh. Free time, diba? So, babayaran ka. The, the, the law says eight hours lang. No? 
So in exchange for 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 after working eight hours, mm -hmm. may premium. Um, may premium siya. At additional okay, sa, dyan, di -di sa tarik, diba? Di -di discourage ng batas yung pagkaroon ng overtime eh. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Kaya nagkaroon ng penalty. Night differential po. Night differential pay. If you're a call center worker mm -hmm. and your work hours are really 8 hours lang pero it's 10 p.m. to 6, 6 a.m. the next uh -huh. day. Are you entitled to uh, may, may night may differential uh, pay? Night shift differential pay na 10, plus 10 percent of your regular hourly rate. rate. Mm. And, and night, night differential and night hours, meaning, ano yung from, time niya? Yeah, 10, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Ah, okay. So right, anytime so, na ganun yung shift mo, then you're plus entitled to ka. plus 10% uh, of the yun regular yun pay. Ini-encourage okay. yan kasi abnormal yung sitwasyon. Oh, abnormal nga naman. At saka ma-epekto yan sa yung physiological uh, ability o sa yung health. No? Mm -hmm. Pero si Atty. Karen, pa yung night differential yan, saka day regular kasi she works night and day. Pero <laughs> 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 All right, we have some questions from our uh, viewers. Uh, let's answer them with the help of our guests, starting off with Ralph. Uh, Ralph asks, my co uh, colleagues and I are wondering if mandatory overtime is legal. Ayan, we, we work in the call center and the management in our department just announced today that we are all required to work overtime this month. They have not told us, um, they have not told us uh, yet exactly when we have to do it or how many hours are, are required. Now, so the question is, is it legal for the company to force us to render overtime work? I think you answered that earlier. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. So, hindi, uh, they no, can this, say no. This sounds like a blanket policy. Na, basta uh -huh. this month, you're all required to work overtime. Uh, hindi, hindi dapat ganun mangyari. Uh, ang isang exception pa dyan is to, diba, to prevent obstruction of the business operation of the company. Mm -hmm. o, pwede yung justification yun. Pero mm -hmm. yung parang very, parang binigyan mo ng mahabang kapangyarihan na hindi kasali doon sa exception ayon sa Article 89 ng Labor Code, eh, mm -hmm. hindi yun na uh, dapat mangyari. Kasi mm -hmm. o, hindi dapat mandatory yung overtime. Representative Rene, pag ganitong nangyari, what can they do to complain about their employer? Where can they go? Uh, no, no. Siya the first place, at the first instance, tanungin nila sa managers nila, why do we have to render overtime work? Mm -hmm. Ano mga dahilan? Mm -hmm. Then, uh, certain nila kung ilang oras. Mm -hmm. no? And then, talk about it with the, 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 the demanders. Mm -hmm. Kung pamahig naman yung mga manggaga, okay lang. Ang, uh, ang point lang is that, alam mo ilang oras yan. Mm -hmm. Uh, kailan gaganapin, ano ang dahilan. Mm -hmm. Kasi sa labor relations naman, eh, ano yan eh, parang um, partnership o di kaya yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> takes to to tango, di ba? Yeah. It's so, more of a relationship. Don't, relationship. They don't want to render the overtime but uh, they, cannot forced, be, ano, they cannot be forced. They cannot be forced. And if they are forced, saan sila pwede mag-complain? Ah, mapupunta na sila sa, ano, sa NLRC. In other words, they're forced and they're, they're forced and they were terminated. They, they have grounds to yeah, file yeah. for uh, illegal, illegal termination. Okay. Right. We have another question from Sandra. I'm a newly regular regularized employee. Upon regularization, my employer gave me an increase in my salary. But they insisted I cannot claim overtime pay anymore since I am now in a supervisory position. I only have one year experience prior to joining this company and currently I have no subordinates in our company. So I can't see the reason why I am in a supervisory position. I think they are only using that supervisory as an excuse not to give overtime pay. Can they do this? Um, uh, so, parang, uh, di di we watch, watch a supervisor, uh, pero uh, actually, for, first year pa lang. He's first year of work. And, uh, uh, but then, based on the definition of a supervisory or managerial position, mm -hmm. it's not really how much time you've spent in employment, right? Mm -hmm. It's based on the functions of that oh, position. Function, uh, so, in this case, I think Sandra has to check Ano uh, ba yung functions niya? And uh, I guess, Attorney Sonny, you can repeat. Ano ba uh, yung, yung uh, ito ba definition? Ito ba related was... directly doon sa mga, yung ginagawa niya related directly doon sa paggawa ng mga pulisiya. Mm -hmm. Policies. Employer. Mm -hmm. Employer. Uh, right. Or siya ba may kapangyarihan na magtanggal o mag-hire? Pero dito sabi niya, wala siyang sinosuffervise. Eh. Mm -hmm. uh, parang wala. Uh, oh, parang oh, so. walang nangyayari, wala siyang uh, people under him mm -hmm. or her. No? Mm -hmm. uh, palagay ko, eh, Kung uh, kasi sa batas naman sa labor code is in case of doubt, you have to resolve in favor of, of okay, labor. Right. No? Kung hindi <laughs> klaro dito na supervisor siya or managerial yung kanyang function, 
eh, dapat entitled siya sa overtime. Sa yeah. overtime. Mm -hmm. Pwede rin siguro silipin dyan. Though. Hindi lang sa definition ng supervisory work. Kundi yung, yung, yung compensation niya. Mm -hmm. Kung siya ay monthly paid, tapos kukumputin natin kung considered na 30 days paid na siya, even mm -hmm. if hindi siya nag-render ng work Saturdays or Sundays, pwede na makukwenta yun. Eh. Right. Oh. Para malalaman mo na ikaw ay uh, supervisory compared to sa wages ng rank and file employees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And plus the functions. For a certain mo, that supervisor, ikaw hindi. Mm -hmm. I see. All right. So now uh, we have a next question. This time, uh, Crystal, is it legal for a company to disallow the use of an employee service incentive leave credit, but provide it uh, as lump sum during the end of the year? Because I think the law provides a service incentive leave. Right? Mm -hmm. I think five days. Yata, you know, Maybe five we days. clarify. Yeah. Clarify first. What's a service yeah, incentive, incentive leave, leave for those? Oh, okay. um, Sige. Yung service incentive leave ay binibigay sa mga empleyado na nakapag-render ng isang taon na servisyo mm -hmm. sa kompanya. Mm -hmm. So kung nakapag-buo uh, ka ng isang taon, ay you are entitled to a five days. Five days of paid, of paid leave. Uh, leave. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, so, kung hindi mo magamit ito, pwede. ay dapat, pwede itong mamonetize. <coughs> Ah. Ah. Pero ang tanong dito ata ay... Eh, Kung pwede ro bang hindi ibigay, hindi ibigay and then lump sum sa end of the year. <coughs> hindi lump sum sa... Oh, meaning parang ayaw paggamit sa kanila. Ayaw paggamit. And then bibigyan, pinapromise sa kanila na ibibigay na lang namin sa inyo yung lump sum equivalent Towards of the, the service year. incentive leave at the end of the year. Is that okay? Kasi Christmas break normally, di ba? Uh, kung voluntary siyang pumayag, eh, walang problema dyan. Mm -hmm. Pero kung, uh, kung gusto niyang kung gamitin, gusto gamitin mm -hmm. eh, dapat magamit niya kasi he is entitled to and he can demand that as a matter of right. Mm -hmm. yung, yung rule kasi is entitlement. entitlement. So, pwede niyang gamitin. Hindi pwede enforce sa kanya, wag mong gamitin. Right. <laughs> so, this uh, service incentive leave is over and above the vacation leave that, that is given every, every year by the employer? No? Uh, ang, uh, sa label code kasi, eh, five days, no? Pero kung may practice sila other than that, ay yung pwede kasi yung, yung vacation leave, halimbawa na 15 days oh. or 10 days, ay pwede na makredit doon sa pwede. Ah, doon okay. sa service incentive service leave. leave. Nanong so ng employees yeah. already giving 15 days. So if days. the company, oh. for instance, has a policy na all employees are entitled to 15 oh. days vacation leave, then it already complies oh. with the requirement of the law oh. na 5 kasi days service incentive. Kasi hindi compulsory kasi yung kwan eh. Yung vacation leave. Hindi compulsory vacation leave. Oh. So kung... Uh, uh, sabi ng employer na yun na yung inyong vacation leave ay yung service incentive leave yung e compliance na yan sa batas. Okay. Oh, kasi okay. mas batas yung 10 days kung 10 yes, days. So, uh, thank you for clarifying that for our viewers. For now, we'll take another short break. Legal Help Desk will return after these messages. You are still watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel with our guests, Representative Rene Magtubo of the Partido Mangagawa and Attorney Jose Sonny Matula, National President of the Federation of Free Workers. Good evening again. Again, we were talking about work hours, though, um, and I think uh, we've been able to clarify na yung when it comes to managers and sa, who's covered by those yeah. that mandatory eight-hour rule. Ngayon, may, may circumstances naman na the employee sometimes does undertime. Di ba? Nag-undertime siya. They, kunyari, you have to leave at 5.30. Mm -hmm. Umaalis sila na 4.30. Yan ba eh, uh, they, can they credit that uh, oh, against oh. the overtime that they do naman? Yeah, na, or can an employer day? say, look, this month, uh -huh. um, dahil maluwag naman yung trabaho natin or magaan lang, you've only been working for seven or six hours <laughs> this whole week. Can they say that will lessen your pay for this whole month because you only worked uh, a certain number hours, of hours? Six hours. Yeah. Oh. Klaro yan sa ating uh, batas eh, na yung uh, overtime ay hindi pwedeng change mo doon sa yung set sa undertime. Mm -hmm. What about so, no uh, reducing the pay because um, kung nag undertime ka, babawasan ka. Kung nag overtime ka, bibigyan ka ng premium. Ah, okay. Uh, ah, but undertime. 
can be a ground for lessening the pay or reducing the pay of an employee. Oh, of course, kasi kung no work, in no principle, work, no, no, work, no pay. No, <laughs> no, no, kung hindi ka nagtabaw, wala kang bayad. Okay, right. so at least for all the employers uh -huh. out there. Pero kung nag-overtime ka, dapat uh -oh. may additional premium ka. Okay, so yeah, pagka pala hindi hmm. naman umaabot sa 8 hours, they can say, this month, bawasan natin yung bayad. But if it's a managerial or supervisory employee, and ah, they, mas magaan yung work nila for a certain month, they cannot reduce the basic pay. Ah, of course, kasi hindi naman sila cover doon sa, uh -oh. uh -oh. doon sa office hour, hindi naman sila cover kasi mga managerial yeah. employees. No, no um, let's say an employee will use as justification, eh, wala naman akong ginagawa, naghihintay lang ako eh. So, since wala naman akong ginagawa, eh, wala naman yung boss ko, uh -huh. uh, uwi na lang ako ng 4 o'clock, uh, the question is, yung waiting ba? Yung waiting for work, is that considered work and therefore therefore he's required to work, uh, re required to wait until 5 o'clock? In other words, can he just leave at 4 o'clock kasi wala namang, wala namang pinapagawa sa akin? Siguro, kung walang pinapagawa, problema na ng management. Oh. <laughs> oh. And, the, and management cannot say na, no. okay, wala namang kayong ginagawa up na. to 3 p.m. Oh. Nung simula 3 hanggang 5, wala naman na kayong kinalang gawin. Babawasan namin yung bayad sa inyo. Ay, hindi. Oh. hindi kasi, kung... kasi yung kwan, yung paghihintay, oh, ay, ay, and yeah. you are on call, on call yeah. uh, tawag nun ay you are at the disposal of the employer. Of the employer. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, you so, cannot, uh, <coughs> hindi ka pwedeng umuwi. Mm -hmm. Hindi ka mo magamit yung oras na yon para sa sarili mo. Mm -hmm. So, dahil kinakailangan ka or on call ka, you are at the disposal of the company, although you are not mm -hmm. uh, actually working. Mm -hmm. So, the times na sinasabi natin kanina that you can reduce the pay of your employees, of your rank and file employees mm -hmm. for under time, that's when they go home earlier and oh, they're really oh. not waiting anymore. Mm. Paano naman yung mga nasa office nga pero nagpe-Facebook lang or nag-internet lang? Mm -hmm. Can they say that, wala ka namang ginagawa, then therefore mm. I will reduce your pay for this Hindi, month? Hindi pwede siguro ng gawin ka agad yun kasi kung uh, you're performing work other than those uh, <coughs> na ibinigay sa'yo, eh, company rules and regulations na uh, ah, bahala sa'yo dyan. Oh. <laughs> kasi... <coughs> You're using company time from other uh, mm -hmm. other time, no? Na hindi attributable dun sa work mo. So, pwede kang kasuhan mm -hmm. ng uh, management kung meron sa kumpara sa regulations nyo na yeah. nakalagay dun na dapat itong ginagawa mo for this period of time mm -hmm. during work. Okay. Now, if, for example, if I, if, uh, if the business is suffering some losses and I tell my my employees, no? In fact, I went to, before, I went, I, when I went uh, to on a vacation, yung uh, affect na hotel sa bandang Visayas, mm. they, were, uh, they were telling us, yung waiters were telling us, we were asked to, to come in lang three times a week kasi the, wala masyadong mga tourists who were coming in and uh, so we, we were told by management na three days a week na lang kami uh, because wala nga masyadong mga ano, em em employees. Can an employer do that to save the business? Pwede Alo, to compress the, <coughs> the, the hours. No? Yeah. Pwede niyang gawin yun, uh, pero process is that uh, they have to talk with the employees. Mm -hmm. Tapos uh, sabihin yung rason. Mm -hmm. At uh, dapat ang, ang rason na yun ay talagang uh, uh, matibay mm -hmm. at uh, may batayan mm -hmm. to a reduced work week para sa mga empleyado. Mm -hmm. Pwede niyang gawin. Pwede gawin yun. Now, hindi, uh, the employer is not necessarily required to make up for that in good times. Meaning, kung kumita na ulit yung company, is it required to... Uh, to Implement a five-hour work uh, week? To, and then... I guess to compensate back. No? Yung, since kulang, you know, for, for two, three months, nag-cost nag saving tayo, and mm. puting kulang ko sa mga sweldo nyo, uh, medyo okay na tayo in the, the latter months. Is the employer required to pay back yung mga in-under time nila? Ah, uh, wala na kasi... Kasi lang, in the, in the first instance kasi kung mag-reduce ka ng working hours, uh, kailangan mo i-justify yung cost. Oh, oh. And kung talagang nalulugi, eh, <laughs> oh, no. uh, so you have to file a certain notice yata sa Department of Labor ah, for the reduction okay. of so charge. Kailangan, kailangan yeah. right. So it can't be automatic and yeah. just say, okay, <laughs> three days work. Oh, three days na lang tayo, walang yan. Yeah. <laughs> Dapat may, 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 may forma dapat. actually yan sa Department, Department of Labor na kinu-fill up. Oh. Eh. Right. Na ini-inform na ito ay napagkasunduan ng mga manggagawa at namin, voluntaryo sila na... Mm -hmm nag-submit sa words, voluntary... To save the business, to save their jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Kasi mas, sa, sabi ng Korte Suprema dyan, is mas humane yung kaysa tatanggalin sila. Oh. Mm. And then, Attorney Sonny, what about travel time? So, if, for instance, you're an employee who is required to travel, eh, pagka, kunwari, normally, your 8-hour eight, uh, eight work week starts at 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., mm -hmm. but then, because you're traveling to some other place, you have to leave the house by 6 a.m., be at the airport mm -hmm. by 7, and then, buong araw ka nagta-travel. 
although of course you're just sitting in the plane for either two, three hours, can the employer say, well, dadating ka lang naman dun sa meeting mo actually at 10 o'clock. So, 10 to 3. Dapat yun lang yung babayaran ko. Or can that person ask for overtime since from if he leaves the house from 6 a.m., uh, kasama na, from there you start counting 8 hours. Ano yung, how can an employer uh, say ko alin lang dun yung babayaran niya ng overtime? Or what can the employee demand hours, in terms of compensation? Mm -hmm. yung, usually, yung travel time papunta sa opisina, hindi yan uh, compensable. So to and from, uh, to and uh, from to the from, uh, uh, your home uh, to the office, hindi uh, yan uh, compensable unless na mayroong policy ka yon, na may bayad yon, mm -hmm. or may collective bargaining agreement kayo na may bayad yon. Mm -hmm. Pero yung mga trabaho mo na nagrequire ng travel, so you are performing your work in going to a certain place that is compensable. Mm -hmm. So dapat babayaran kanya. It's in the nature of work. So ang ang basic rule don is anong nature ng work? that covers travel. Mm -mm. So, kung ang nature and work may covers travel, eh, compensable yun. Mm. What types of employees uh, would have travel time that is not compensable? Um, Talimitan sa mga rank and file, di ba? Mm -mm. Punta, sa, <laughs> punta ka sa trabaho, mm -mm. eh, hindi naman compensable. Kahit na bibig ka pa ng service buses ng kumpanya, mm -hmm. uh, from point A hanggang sa kumpanya, ang travel nun, hindi compensable. Eh, yung mga ahente po, yung mga sales yeah. na uh -huh. laging pumupunta sa either yeah. provinces um, outside Metro yeah. Manila to sell. Yung mga sales uh, personnel naman, eh, pwede yung makover ng kwan, eh, yung field worker. Yung field worker mm -hmm. yan. Na hindi sila... Kasi minsan nag-happy hour yan with the uh -huh. client, di ba? Uh -huh. <laughs> Kasi mga field worker, <laughs> eh, <laughs> fiction sila. Fiction ka nila oh. ng amount. At walang, hindi na sila binibigyan ng overtime. Yeah. Kasi ang uh, prinsipyo dyan, hindi sila nasusupervise ng kanilang Mm. mga employer mm. because of the nature of their work. Yeah. I, I, and I'm curious, no, again, in relation to overtime, no, I, uh, there are two, two questions uh, that I'd like to ask. No? One is that yung overtime, hindi automatic yun. Meaning, for example, if I did not require my staff to, to render yeah, overtime. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And they're still in the uh, office they're still in the until office. 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm not required to pay them overtime, right? Of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's only upon, in other words, they have to, the employee will have to apply for, for overtime, di ba? Oh, it uh, must be approved, yeah. by by approved by the immediate okay. supervisor. Right. So what if they have a deadline? For instance, sinabihan sila na, please give me the draft of this memo by 5 p.m. today. And dahil mahaba talaga because it's complicated, you end up working until 7 p.m. even if you did not ask for permission from your employer. Can the employee argue, I wouldn't have stayed until 7 p.m. if you didn't require me to submit this memo by today? Mm -hmm. uh, what what but, would be the argument there? Kung ganun ang sitwasyon, alam na ng employer na kailangan niya mag-overtime. So, dapat makompensate naman siya. But pero kailangan niyang kunin yung permission. Kasi paano kung mabagal lang magtrabaho pa na kung Yung usual dyan na practice is dapat... Uh, hihingi ng uh, empleyado yung permiso bago siya mag-overtime. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Sige. All right. Helpful so, tip. we still have a few questions from our viewers. So let's answer this query from Cherry naman. I recently joined a company last month. I found out that the company is not providing SL or sick leave and vacation leave to the regular employees. We have around 200 personnel. The company has been operating for more than 20 years. The only way I can convince them to give these benefits is to let them know what the, are the consequences is they will not, if they will not provide the benefits. Can someone share their expert advice? What my company will face in cases that authorities will find out this practice that they're not providing sick leaves and vacation leaves? Sige ko, siguro hindi inspection yan. Department of Labor, hindi inabot. Kasi ang case is that 200 employees Eh, dapat uh, meron nang uh, na-inspect yan ng ano, labor uh, inspectors eh. Mm -hmm. So siguro hindi siya na-inspect. Kaya hindi na, na, na nalaman na wala siyang uh, service incentive for, for, mm -hmm. for the employees. Mm -hmm. So kapag nalaman niya ng uh, Department of Labor, eh, masasampa ng kaso yung violation of labor standards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. So, yun. Not Pwede. providing sick leave and vacation leave? Hindi no, no, no. Uh, service incentive leave. Kasi ah, service sick leave and vacation leave kasi, eh, ano yan, negotiable yan eh. Hindi yeah. naman automatic. Mm -hmm. Ang automatic is that uh, an employer rendering one-year service entitled for service five days incentive. service oh. incentive. Ah, kasama. So, on sick leave, it's not mandatory? No, 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 no it's not mandatory. Yung, yung, yung compulsory lang sa ating batas, yung service incentive service leave incentive. na five, five days. days. Five days. Oh, so, five Cherry days. should check. Kasi baka uh, naman... Kung 20 years na yan, <laughs> na nagbabiolate yung kompanya, <laughs> 
mag, pwede sila mag-complain ng kwan lang ng uh, within uh, three years backward. Mm. Kasi may prescriptive period yung mga oh. labor standard claims natin. Eh. Mm-hmm. Hanggang uh, tatlong taon lang pa baba. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so, yung mga more than three years... For violations na over 17 years ago. Ah, wala na. Oh. Wala. So, <laughs> ibig sabihin, hindi na mahabol. Oh, hindi na mahabol dahil natutulog sila sa kanilang karapatan. Oh. <laughs> But Cherry, I think Deep you... Deep oh. <laughs> So, dapat talaga, you have to have your employer investigated if you find mm-hmm. mga practices na baka uh-huh. questionable. But Cherry, you have to check, baka meron na kayong service incentive leave of five days. Kung ganun then uh, baka wala na rin basis yung claim mo na they're violating the law by not giving you guys sick leaves and vacation leaves. Okay. And we have another question from Crystal. I'm resigning from my present company, but the HR is giving me a hard time. I presented my resignation letter and the HR will not accept it. This lasted for a week. When I told them I will go to the Department of Labor and Employment and report this incident, He laughed at my face and even went as far as to say that even if we present our case to the Supreme Court, they will not care or let me resign. What else can I do about my situation? Ayos siyang pakawalan. Parang, ah, very poor. Ano, oo oh, nga eh, parang, mm. parang forced labor. Yeah. <laughs> eh, rinbo ka mo lang sa resignation. Yeah. <laughs> But it's not allowed na, <laughs> hindi, <laughs> bakal ka mag-resign. <laughs> yung, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yung ating constitutional law naman, eh, involuntary servitude is mm. uh, prohibited. O ibig sabihin na, uh, walang taong pipilitin na manatili sa kanyang trabaho kung ayaw nyo na. Yeah. So, labag sa batas ko. Uh, yeah. Labag sa batas siya. being forced. Well, well, kung uh, may illegal termination, may illegal retention. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Uh, yung kwan dyan, yung, at least sa resignation, may klaro yung uh, giya ng ating batas. Na dapat, uh, bago ka mag-resign, ay bibigyan mo ng 30-day notice. Mm-mm. Yung iyong employer. Uh, may dahilan man yung wala. No? Maliban kung may dahilan yung kanyang pag-resign. Halimbawa, inaharas siya. So, pwede nga agad, agad. Oh, agad. Pero kung wala namang uh, dahilan, eh, kinakailangan ng 30-day notice para sa kanyang employer. Para namang mapaganda, makapaganda mm-hmm. yung employer niya sa kanyang paglisan. Pagka po ayaw siyang payagan, katulad nito, pinagtawanan pa siya kahit daw umabot silang Supreme Court, hindi siya papayagan mag-resign. Representative <laughs> Rene, saan siya pwede lumapit para makaalis siya sa trabaho? <laughs> Nee, may na namang sa batas just an authorized causes eh, of mm-hmm. separation from company. Mm-hmm. Pwede niyang gamitin yun na mag-files ng irrevocable resignation, sabihin niya doon yung kanyang mga katuwiran ng pagre-resign. Kasi ang fault naman, hindi naman fault, ang, ang reason behind resignation is attributable sa employee. Mm-hmm. So, eh, bigyan niya lang ng uh, panahon, yung mm-hmm. 30 days, notice yung kanyang kumpanya mm-hmm. para man prepare yung replacement mm-hmm. para sa kanya. Yun naman yung concept doon eh. Mm-hmm. So, But he can go to the, she can go to the... Ay, hindi siya papayag. Hindi yeah. <laughs> siya mag-reclamo. Actually, <laughs> pwede, hindi na kinakalaan pumunta sa NLRC. After 30 days, hindi na siya mag-report. Hindi na siya mm-hmm. mag-report. Eh. <laughs> okay. Kasi yung problema, pagka ayaw, ibigay yung mga oh. na-accrue na salary. Ayaw. Oh. Oh. Diba yun? And she can diba go to the NLRC. Diba nga niyo, no? Okay. Now, Lorenzo naman sent us this question. We, uh, we are hired as regular employees in an IT service provider. Some of us are programmers while some are system technical support engineers. Our company does not give overtime pay and before they allow offsetting for before they would allow offsetting for those who uh, work for extended hours. They now remove the offset rule but still no overtime pay. Sometimes you're forced to work for more than eight hours even for straight 24 hours during rest days and even holidays. How can we demand for overtime pay and what can we do? if they still won't give us overtime pay. Class yeah. mm. <laughs> Kung itong mga engineers na ito ay mga rank and file uh, employees, of course, they are entitled to overtime pay. Overtime pay. Overtime pay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, so, but uh, if you're saying if they're managerial na in nature? Uh, yun, uh, you exempted know, sila doon sa uh-huh. payment of premium na kanilang overtime. Mm-hmm. So they really have to check yung katulad uh-huh. ng guidelines na binigay niyo kanina. Uh-huh. First, check your functions and mm-hmm. try to see uh-huh. if you're classified as supervisory or managerial positions. And second, you can also use as a guideline yung compensation, no? Yeah. If this is equivalent to a managerial or supervisory position or rank and file. Because mm-hmm. pag uh, supervisory or rank and file uh, or managerial, you're not entitled to overtime pay. Mm-hmm. But if you're rank and file, kailangan, they can demand the overtime yeah. pay. Mm-hmm. And also, of course, the pay for the holidays. They mentioned working on holidays, mm-hmm. working on Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, kung and kung holiday. 24 hours, may night differential oh, okay. pay kung, pa. Oh, oh. Kung nagtatrabaho sila ng holiday, regular holiday, entitled sila ng 200%. Tsaka, no, may forced overtime element pa sila. 
Mm. Tapos mayroon tayong epekto din yan sa health niya 24 hours kapag natarap. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> may health hazard. May health hazard. Oh, all right. Okay. We'll take another short break. But of course, we have to emphasize here, everything that we took up yung kanina sa discussion natin, it only covers right. non-government employees. Yeah. Mm. For government employees, they're covered mm. by other rules, as mentioned mm. by Attorney Sani. Mm. Yung government employees ay sa civil service uh, law yan. Mm. So, lalong-lalo na yung uh, ano, mga government agencies or government-owned or controlled corporation na may original charter. Mm. Pero yung mga government corporation na incorporated under the, the corporation code, mm. uh, they are covered. They are considered as private mm. employees. Okay. Thank you for okay. clarifying All that. Right. Okay. Kasi baka yung mga ibang nasa mm. government, no. magtatanong, oh, okay. bakit ka may iba yung practice sa amin? Oh, exactly. Okay. Uh, all right. So, thank you. Right now, we'll just take another short break. But before we do, we'd like to thank our guests, Representative Rene Magtubo of the Partido Manggagawa and Attorney Jose Sani Matula, National President of the Federation of Free Workers. Thank you for being with us tonight, gentlemen. Maraming salamat, Ben. Thank you very much. Uh, Maraming salamat, Rob. And all the best. Stay tuned. Legal Help Desk will return after these messages. Welcome back to Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. And today we had a very yes. interesting topic because very. it covers everyone who works. Yeah, every adult, right? Yes. Either, either an employee or an employer. So or it, employer it or employee, yes. Yeah, and so also we it. have to qualify that mm -hmm. our discussions for tonight were all about employees who are not government employees. Mm -hmm. So for those watching out there, if you're employed with the government mm -hmm. or with a government-owned and controlled corporation with an original charter, you're not covered by all the labor standards that we discussed mm -hmm. tonight because you're covered by the civil service rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. But with respect to the working conditions that we discussed tonight, mm -hmm. una -una, very important, if you're uh, working, tignan nyo yung position nyo. Are you a managerial or supervisory position? Or are you occupying a rank and file position? Because Again, yung rules natin on the eight-hour work, overtime pay, and overtime pay, again, oh, holiday applies, pay, no? night differential, mm -hmm. it only applies to rank and file employees. Mm -hmm. Also, you have to take into consideration that uh, if you are, for example, an, a, a field worker, for example, you're in sales, no? um, that, oh, that you're not covered. meaning yeah. you're out there, you're hindi out ka there. nababantayan so, ng So, hindi ka na cover sa eight-hour rule. No? Um, so, there's no usually no overtime pay. And also, if you're paid by results, yung pakyaw, sinataw, sinatawag nilang pakyaw work, no? um, yun, you're also not not covered. And mm -hmm. I, th I believe there's also some uh, I think you have to clarify, pag pakyaw, you're in isip ko tuloy yung not money, money pakyaw. No, yeah. no, pakyaw yung meaning yourself. Work for results. Oh, for yeah. results. Parang mm -hmm. may, may project ka, nyari you're required to work on this particular piece of furniture and you're, you're paid via, let's say, if you finish 10 of these, in a day. So, hindi yan covered by time, it's covered by the result. Mm -mm. So, yun, you're also not covered by overtime uh, work. No? So, it, it's, it's very key. Um, also, there, uh, if you're in the, a BPO and uh, you're working sa night shift, you're, uh, you're entitled to night differentials, di ba? At, mm -mm. at 10%. If, it's, um, if the work hours are between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., mm -hmm. even if this is your regular work period, you're entitled to what you call night differential pay, and that means you're entitled to 10% more of the regular work uh, wage. Mm -hmm. Also, overtime is not mandatory. No? So if, uh, if your employer uh, requires you to work overtime and you've rendered already your eight hour work, and you say no, and then you get terminated because of that refusal, you can actually file for illegal termination because mm -hmm. you're not required. Uh, mm -hmm. You can say no, in other words, to to uh, overtime work. Yeah, meron lang mga exceptional circumstances on mm -hmm. when you can render or you, you can be forced to render overtime work. And that's usually if there's emergency circumstances or if you're, again, of course, if you're working with the government, but mm -hmm. also if there's like uh, some form of emergency, like if the there are perishable goods involved. Mm -hmm. So it's not really mandatory to render overtime work just because your employer says so. 
Mm -hmm. And again, also for those who are either employers and employees out there, uh, take note that the vacation and sick leaves are not mandatory in terms of being provided to employees. What's mandatory under the law is what you call the service incentive leave, meaning for employees who have rendered at least one year of work, they are entitled to a service incentive leave of five days with pay. Mm. And you cannot force your employee to get the cash equivalent if mm. they want to use this for leave. But uh, if you have also in your company policy a vacation leave or sick leave that allows five days or more, then basically you're complying with, uh, you're, you're with the requirement of the law, the mm -hmm. service incentive. Tapos yung mga compressed uh, work week nga pala, no? So for, for those employers who, because of, let's say, economic reasons or business reasons, no? medyo nalulugi na, uh, and uh, you want to save the business, the more humane thing to do, rather than getting rid of your employees or uh, firing, firing them all together, no? terminating them, is to maybe have compressed work week. Uh, that is allowed by law, but you have to get uh, permission from the DOLE, from the Department of Labor. It's not automatic. So you talk to your employees. If the employees are willing to have uh, less pay because of the compressed work week, no? so instead of six days a week, you work na three days a week. Diba? So lesser yung uh, uh, OPEX, my operation expense on salaries. If you agree with their employees and you get the permission from the Department of Labor, that can be done. And when your business has recovered, you're, you don't necessarily have to compensate for, for that reduced pay. Uh, again, that's, that's, uh, the Supreme Court has already ruled that that's allowed in order to save the business. And that's a more humane way of, uh, mm -hmm. I guess, helping out employees. Mm -hmm. naman mawalan silang work. Yeah. Yes. And lastly, you, for those who, of course, like to eat, and mm -hmm. who doesn't like to eat <laughs> while uh, like you're eat. In uh -huh. reporting for work, mm -hmm. the time spent for your meals are not covered when you're counting the eight-hour work period because providing a lunch break is mandatory. It has to be at least 60 minutes, but it's not counted when you're counting the eight-hour work period. But if, you are, um, if you're working while eating, then you can count that as part of the eight-hour work period. That's if, it, if you're required to work by your employer. Hindi yung, di ba, iba kasi, pipiliin na lang nilang kumain Kailan while na. working. Mm -hmm. But you can't force naman your employer mm -hmm. to say, oh, hindi natin ka-count yun, ha? because... Yeah, kasi uh -oh. kumakain ka. <laughs> yeah, and that's also key for uh, working overtime. Right. Uh, get the approval of your employer when you work overtime so that you can get the overtime pay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. Now, we've received some questions from our viewers on topics we have uh, previously discussed. Uh, with Astas, uh, I'm not legally married uh, to the father of my son, who was born in Saudi in 2001. So I'm assuming that uh, Wit is a, a woman, uh, a lady. He was, uh, he was able to obtain a fake marriage certificate, but it was not regi registered in the NSO. My son is using his surname. Now I'm, now I'm legally married to an American. So uh, please advise on the steps what to do regarding the legitimacy of my son. Can my husband uh, adopt Adopt him. Thank you very much. So, mm -mm. Again, First of all, yeah. the falsification, the, the Wit mm -hmm. was mentioning that the husband was able to get a fake mm -hmm. marriage certificate. Mm -hmm. That's called that's a a falsification of public documents. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's a crime. And you can actually uh, mm -hmm. prosecute your husband for that. But other than that, um, since hindi naman kayo married, your son is not obliged to use the surname of the father. Mm -hmm. So, you can actually change the name of your son to use your surname. Since you have parental authority, so, mm -hmm. so you, and then, can, you can do that. Yeah. Yes, and, and of course, the husband, the husband can also yeah. adopt your son. That's right. Mm -hmm. And um, as long as, of course, he complies with all the requirements under law. Because he mentioned American. Eh? So mm -hmm. uh, you have to check the Inter-Country Adoption Act, yeah. meaning there oh. are requirements there. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I would advise is get the assistance of a lawyer so that you can go through the whole process of adoption. Yeah, so it doesn't mm -hmm. fall under the, the usual rules no, of, of, of local adoption, we call it Philippine adoption, because he's an American. All right, so... We okay. have another question mm -hmm. from Paolo. I had a child with my ex who is now five years old. I kept constant contact with my kid and supported him without fail since day one. My kid also has my surname. My question is, can my ex just change my son's surname and or take him out of the country without my consent. Okay. okay. So first question, Paolo. 
um, your your wife, uh, sorry, your ex cannot uh, suddenly change the name of your son if this is what appears in his legal documents, meaning dun sa certificate of birth. Mm -hmm. Pag ganon, then um, your the mother technically can change it because there, you're not married, you're not legally married, so your son is also not bound or obliged to carry your surname. Mm -hmm. But the mother, kung yun na yung official or legal name ng anak mo, would have to mm -hmm. go through the process of changing mm -hmm. the name. It's, it's a special proceeding that you have to file. So it's, it's not automatic na. She'll just go there and it's own. Or just change. start using the yeah, or start using name it. She of has to re really go through a, a legal the process procedure. Oh, kasi baka yeah. mamaya yung lahat na pala yung passport ng anak is mm. already uh, mm. using the father's surname so yeah. she has to undergo the process of change of name oh. for the son kasi hindi to hindi to typographical error right? mm -hmm. it's not just a, an, a clerical error it, it, it's really a change mm -hmm. of name so you can do that now no. now taking it, out of the country yeah, that's, that's a little tricky. without his consent um, that's allowed because again your son is uh, an illegitimate child because you are not married and the parental authority is with the mother so she can take him out of the country without your consent correct if you're married uh, if you're married both parents have parental authority if you're not married and the, the the child is illegitimate parental authority normally resides on on the mother so mm -hmm. she, she, she she can do that yeah all right all right so that's all the time that we have for tonight we have uh, we'd like to thank our guests who were with us earlier and our viewers who sent us uh, your questions via social media. I'm attorney Rod Nepomuceno. And I'm attorney Karen Jimeno. If you have any questions on our topic for tonight, you may share them with us on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Join us again next Monday as we discuss your legal rights. Good night. <music>